Stand in there. Okay. It has no power over you. For me, what, what You're dead to sin, so we'll just use this example. Okay. At some point in our Christian life, um, if we committed, if we saw some work of the flesh manifesting out of us, that would have a voice to us sure. and tell us that God was unhappy with us, that we're separated from God, we're separated from His blessing, we're separated from His favor, we're separated from His life. Okay. So to be crucified with Christ would mean you're dead to that. Thank you. Right? So okay. if you, even if you have some sin manifesting in your life, that sin can't now come and tell you you're separated from God. It can't yeah. now come and tell you that you're separated from His life. It can't now come and tell you you're separated from His love, from His acceptance, that He no longer finds uh, you beautiful. It can't tell you that anymore because you've died with Christ unto sin. Right? You're dead to it. Sin was trying to tell Jesus that he was separated from God. Right. Look at you. You're naked. Your beard's been pulled out. you got a crown of thorns. All the people hate you. They're rejecting you. Look at you. Sin was trying to tell him, look at you. He died unto that. Mm -hmm. Right? We died with him. Mm -hmm. So sin no longer has a voice in our life. It can no longer tell us we're separated from God. It can no longer tell us we're not the beloved. It can no longer tell us that he's not happy with us. It can no longer tell us that he, he doesn't accept us. It can't tell us that we're separated from life anymore. Nothing can separate us from God. And so we're dead to that. That's it.